Hello and welcome to the Sherlock Show. I'm Georgie Porridge Cole and I am very excited to be back in the studio today in accordance with social distancing guidelines. We have got a bit more space between us than usual, but we couldn't wait any longer and have so missed bringing you your dose of fashion, beauty, life and chat. And we are gunning to get back into the swing, the swing of things. Joining me on the sofa today are Lou Hoff and Harriet Russell. Welcome, ladies. So nice to see you both and the rest of the skeleton crew that we've got behind the cameras here in the studio. Today, we're going to be chatting all things lockdown, some of the exciting new discoveries we've made to the best TV we've watched. Later, PT extraordinaire Bridie Thompson from One Rebel is back with her top tips for working out with a resistance band and a tough workout you're going to love. Plus, Lou and I will be showing you the best summer dresses at ASOS right now. And whether you're after something pretty and romantic or clean and simple, we have you covered. I'm also going to be making the three healthy, delicious and most importantly simple salads that I've turned to over and over again for the past few weeks. From watermelon to crab, if I can make them, then you can too. But first, to put it mildly, even for those of us who've been lucky enough to come out of isolation relatively unscathed by the virus and its impact, it has been an extraordinary time for humankind. Most of us, I think, will agree that there have been some serious lows, but also some surprising highs. So I wanted to hear from you both. It is really so nice to see you both. It's kind of strangely normal, but also yeah. not, because the safe is apart and anyway, it makes it feel quite emotional. <laughs> um, Harriet, how are you? What have your highs and your lows been? Well... I had to really think about it when I was asked it ahead of time, but I think for me, the low came quite quickly, which maybe was a good thing. You sort of get the big blow out of the way, which was my sister was supposed to have her 30th birthday. In, she lives in New York, so there was going to be a big family trip, and that got cancelled pretty quickly. I can remember being in the office pretty much on one of the last days and optimistically thinking that I might be on holiday in June. Well, here we are. Not going to happen. I know um, you're really close to your sister. So yeah. That must have been um, so that was a bit of a bummer. And also Wimbledon. I think when Wimbledon was cancelled, for me, that's one of my favourite times yeah. of the year. And I know. That Lou, was you're a, real a massive blow. Wimbledon fan. I know. Too. I'm so gutted. And now all the tennis courts are reopening. It makes me even more be like, oh, we don't have Wimbledon. Also, other too. sports are reopening from behind closed doors, yeah. like racing, horse racing, Formula One, motor racing. Yeah. They just, I think Silverstone just been told they can. Yeah. And put on tea races, but no Wimbledon. No I mean, Wimbledon. Bigger fish to fry. Yeah. Bigger fish to fry. But, but sad. Um, and then I think my high came pretty early on as well, which was one of the Queen's speeches. Um, she made two, obviously, but the first one in lockdown um, was sort of very inspirational. And it, it sort of quoted this time that there will be a time when we all meet again. And it, it was very sort of, um, I mean, a lot of people have compared sort of the war and stuff to these times. Maybe that's not accurate. Maybe it is. But her sentiment, I think, resonates across all of those big events for humankind, which is, you know, yeah, we'll have I each other. I love that too. We've actually got a clip to play now of that first speech she did. We should take comfort that while we may have more still to endure, better days will return. We will be with our friends again. We will be with our families again. We will meet again. Isn't she amazing? Amazing. She just makes me just so proud to be British, I isn't know. she? I yeah, know. she's a real figurehead. And her second speech was on VE Day, which was sort of equally uplifting. So, yeah. OK, so that was your high and your low. Lou, what about you? Your low, I oh, don't want to ask I know. you. Um, my low has got to be missing all of the big events. I think we counted in our family just from April and May. There were 11 big events that we missed, one of which was my wedding. I was going to say, <laughs> yeah. I mean, let's cut to the chase here, your wedding. Yeah. You and Tor, um, bit, both of you have been through a yeah, horrible time. Really, really, really horrible. And I just feel for all the brides and grooms out there um, and everyone that works in the wedding industry um, to mm. kind of have to put everything on hold is really gutting. And also, I think, to just be so close to it. Um, you know, I remember before this all kicked off, we were talking about it in the office and everyone said to me, like, you'll be fine, you'll be fine. It, like, May is a long way away, but unfortunately, we're still in it. So, I yeah. think people are just trying to get you through I every know, day, aren't they? I but know. you're still smiling, bless yeah. you, and, you know, good for you. And yeah, and you know what? My high probably was um, the weekend that it was meant to be because I was just so touched by all of the incredible um, messages and love that I felt from friends and family um, reaching out to us both. And we had 
a really, really special day together and um, saw our mums from afar as well, which was really, really lovely. So, yeah, felt very special indeed. I know Tor would say the same. You're literally making one up. I know Tor would say the same. On their wedding day, uh, I think their best man put together a yeah, video. He got everyone coming to the wedding to contribute. And she put it on her Instagram and I just sat at my desk and Honestly, just cried. I was, cried. I was, I was like, bawling God. watching that and I, I voice messaged Tor and I was a completely broken speech because I was crying so much. Oh, this is so amazing. I know, it's like, do you realise I don't know any of your friends or your yeah. family, but right now I'm sitting here yeah. beloving looking at this video. So good. Um, oh, well, you will get married. You have yeah. your moment. And what was yours, Georgie? Um, I think my low... Um, Homeschooling. I mean, I'm still in that. <laughs> I'm still in that phase. And my daughter was asked to build an Inca bridge yesterday. I was like, I'm really sorry, darling, but you know, this one's you're on your own on this one. Um, and I saw some some friends for a walk yesterday, and the two children have gone back to school. And I was like, I don't think I can talk to you <laughs> right now. So I think that's my low. Obviously, friends and family. I don't need to repeat what everyone has said um, and I think also being on my not being on my own but not being on my own I, I love my family to bits and it's been amazing and we've had lows and highs and special times weirdly I think we'll look back on these times mm. and feel really nostalgic Completely. about it and the fact that my husband's had lunch with his children every day for the last three months is like yeah. magic mm. but I'm also quite a social person and quite like to get out and see other people so that's been quite tough missing yeah. asian food that's been a bit of a low on a basic level <laughs> uh, people are laughing in the background um and but i think a high that actually i noted down was like the community spirit like going yeah. to the park and people smiling at you oh my god it's completely different you sort of feel like you're not allowed to be grumpy or beat your horn in the car or whatever we've all just got to be kinder yeah. and um so i think for me just, you know, waving at my neighbours and the clap and all those things that we all agree on. Yeah. I think that the way everyone's pulled together, the way the whole team here is pulled together is... Real community like, spirit. Amazing, yeah. amazing. So, yeah. Um, right, favourite shows that you've watched. I mean, you two, you've picked the same show. Oh, did we? I should have banned this one <laughs> yeah. on the list because I'd have picked it as well if I could. <laughs> Do you know, I didn't. It, it was actually even probably going to be one of my highlights because I absolutely devoured it. I loved it so much I actually watched it twice back to back. Mm -hmm. um, I know someone I was, who's watched it three times back to back. I, I, I could definitely do that again now. <laughs> I saw a little bit of on BBC last night and I was like, oh, what's my <laughs> um, But yeah, I just absolutely loved it. The characters. Have we actually said what it is? Oh, sorry. No, sorry. <laughs> I don't Everyone think we watching, have. Are you obviously in agreement? Um, so it's it's no, normal obviously people. normal people. Um, yeah, the, the chemistry between them was just Incredible. Can I just cl clear something up? He's not hot. Like, the chemistry, amazing. I, I mean, it was the most... I've never watched anything that patiently. I'm yeah. so mm. impatient. Normally, if something's slow, I'm like, on my phone, whatever. I was, like, mesmerised. Mm, yeah. It's brilliantly slow and raw, and the nudity is amazing, yeah. and it's beautiful, and it's... But he's not hot. But I think he is, as you... As you I, I think he's not, like, hot... But he, he's very Sexy. attractive, and there's... He's the, a very good person, isn't he? Oh, yeah. I, I'm not knocking any of that, by the way. No, 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 no but I'm saying I think that's the attraction. By the end of it, I think he is really attractive, actually. Oh, okay. Mm. His chain, you know? Okay. Yeah, the chain has its own Instagram account. You can't... You can't not a fan of the that. chain. Just putting it out there. <laughs> Sorry. Big fan of the chain. We have a bit of a... We have yeah. a bit of a... Like, are we going to write a story on the chain? I like, we're not going to write a story on the chain. Uh, she's like, I thought I'd try, anyway. Um, okay. Um, Lou, you had another one. Oh, my other one is Celebrity SAS. Yeah. <laughs> another, I'm surprised that you're pulling that face because I think I it's watched right, it. I haven't watched it. I'm I not think judging. it is right up your street. Um, okay. Loved it again so much that I had to go back and watch the first series um, because <laughs> I enjoyed it so much. I mean, I was in the cadets. So I need to watch it. I, I think, think you it love it. But it's just an amazing test, I think, of your mental strength and resilience. It's not just about sort of how strong you are. Um, they go through sort of different chapters, um, confidence, trust, resilience. Um, and at the end, they, it, the, the task that they have to go through, you just think, wow, how do you have the sort of mental capacity to do that? It's just phenomenal. And I'm watching it, you think, okay, where would I fall along the head or so? <laughs> you did recommend to me, what was it? One week, five guys. Five guys, one week. Five yeah. guys, one week. Not good. No, so I'm no. slightly questioning your judgment. Very, right very, now, but very I do think I'd like that. Different. Terrible um, show. Terrible <laughs> show. Don't waste your time. Anyway, 
my my favourite is was definitely other than normal people. Can't get my words out. Was the last dance so good? So oh good. Oh my god. My husband and I are obsessed with Michael Jordan. Yeah. Like, like we've literally become his like super fans. <laughs> oh my god! Now he is hot. Yeah, he was sexy when he's younger. <laughs> wow. Anyway, he, it's just amazing. I haven't. I've actually got two left. Um, it's so good. Have you seen it? I've seen it, but I haven't finished it. So I've got two, yeah, I've yeah. got two left. You also um, have to give a shout out to the insane suits. Oh my god, the suits! We were talking about the yeah. suits. They're like bashing each other out of the way. Yeah, they're, they're yeah. Huge. so big. I mean, there's something about a, sort of a six foot eight man anyway wearing yeah. a suit, but to have almost the shoulders as, as wide as Pippin. tall they are. Also, he's so tall and thin, <laughs> and he sort of goes like that, doesn't yeah. he? And, and they're in like a taupe, which is just never a good colour on a suit, yeah. is it? No. Anyway, it's so good. Anyway, it's it is so brilliant. <laughs> if you think you're not into basketball, whatever, 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 just watch it. It's so brilliant. I didn't love the first episode. Fell asleep. Went back to it, and now it's amazing. So that's mine. Anyway, we're getting very animated today, the TV here. Um, okay, finally, I'll just ask you what your favourite new discovery has been, other than TV. So, I've got two. I'll go through them really quickly. First one was the Romley Wild power duo. You love this, don't Face you? Face oil and super sass serum. I literally just... I can't speak highly enough of it. it. Like literally transformed my skin about three weeks into lockdown. Um, so yeah, I've shout out Romney who came on the show. Yeah. She is brilliant, and she's one. It's one of those brands that like beauty editors who've been in the industry for decades. They really know yeah. their stuff, and they really rate her. And that to me is always like the sign that something's brilliant. Yeah, it's just amazing. And then my second one was not really a discovery because we have had it in our cupboard for a year but haven't used it yet and it's a little mini portable barbecue um, called The Adventures Begins, I think that's what the name of it is and it's almost like a little tin briefcase and you take it out, we've taken it out on little picnics and it sort of opens up and stands on these little ledges so nothing is on the grass, it's not going to burn any, any grass. Um, and it can literally fit, you know, two sausages, two burgers. I don't eat them, Cute. obviously. Yes. But the smell of a barbecue Halloumi. is summer to me. So I've been really missing that. We don't Aww. have a garden. So it's been heaven taking that out. And we took it out the other day, actually, and, um, on a walk. And it was just cooling off. And so many people were gathering around it, being like, what is this? What is this contraption? <laughs> so, yeah, it's brilliant. Brilliant. Love that. Uh, Harriet, what's your favourite new discovery? I think it would have to be a recommendation from Tor, which came pretty early on. I was struggling to do the supermarket thing with the queuing and then getting in there and there being nothing left and all of that. So she was saying, I've discovered this veg service from Detox Kitchen, which comes, I mean, it is huge. I live alone. I can barely get through it on my own. It would adequately feed two people for a week. There's so much veg. It also comes, you can get a brunch one that has like cereal and bread in it but the normal one comes with other store cupboard essentials as well so it comes mm -hmm. with chopped tomatoes and uh, cannellini beans and milk and these two dressings which are homemade they're plant-based by detox kitchen and they come in it I would honestly pay the full price just for those two dressings Amazing. they are so good so that's called the veg box from detox kitchen mm -hmm. I like the sound of that I need to get myself one of those it's really good Okay, well, my favourite one, um, we're going to end on this one. My favourite thing is um, a new ready-made cocktail brand called Lockdown Liquor. Um, you might have seen this already. You guys have seen this. I've talked about this quite a lot on Instagram. But long story short, um, this has been set up by some friends of mine who have a very successful events business, and they're just, like, really creative. And just for fun... They knocked up some cocktails at home, put them on some of their local friends' doorsteps, and we happened to be one of them. And their friends were like, oh my God, that was amazing, that was amazing. Will you make us some more? And they're like, hang on a minute, there's something in this. Long story short, they're now selling like a thousand bottles a week. Wow. And it has gone absolutely bananas. There's a picante, which is tequila based, there's a pepino, which is gin based. I've always hated tequila. I don't hate tequila anymore. Mm -hmm. This is amazing. He was like, I'm going to transform you into to becoming a tequila lover. Um, it's got chili in it. It's got lime in it. All the things I love. This has got mint and cucumber. Anyway, it's 25 quid. It's quite expensive. You get four to five cocktails. Four to five cocktails. But it's like the biggest treat on a night in at home. And so nice. But it's sort of already prepared as well. Oh, it's just heaven. They are so good. They are so good. We might open them after the show so you can have a little <laughs> chance. Um, anyway, check them out. Lockdown Liquor & Co. But how cool when so many businesses are going through 
such a shitty time, but there are also businesses doing amazingly well. Yeah. They donated, I have to say, they've donated all the profits to NHS charities. Um, and I know that for a fact because they're friends. And well, I just think it's, it's really cool. Amazing. Um, I love stories like that. Mm. Love stories like that. Thank you both. Gosh, we've talked for far too long, but it feels so nice to chat to you both. <laughs> um, up next, Bryony Thompson from One Rebel is here to show you a really tough workout using a resistance band. Don't go away. Hi, my name is Bryony. I am one of the trainers at One Rebel. And today we are gonna to talk to you about mastering the resistance band. This is a great thing to add to any body weight exercises. With your body weight movement, whether it's a squat, whether it's a bent over row, using that resistance band is gonna keep your muscles under tension for that little bit longer. And this is one way we can help improve your strength. So, one great exercise for your upper body. With a nice long band, you about a medium resistance to this. You can vary it depending on where you stand and how low you get. We're going to work on the bent over row. So just looping the ends underneath, you're going to hinge from your hips, nice flat back, and you're going to pull those elbows against your rib cage, driving them up. Three second pause at the top, slow, slow, slow on the way down. Pulling up three second pause at the top, slow on the way down. As you pull, you want to think about squeezing those shoulder blades together at the top, bracing your abs, slow on the way down. You'll instantly feel tension through the back of the legs, through that core, and through the upper body. So next up, with the looped band, this is a medium weight. But again, you can take this as light or as heavy as needed. Um, this is a great exercise to activate the glutes, activate the hamstrings. This is your glute bridge. So with the weight just slightly above those knees, taking those feet out just a little bit wider than your hips, pushing your heels into the ground, tucking that pelvis under. You're going to squeeze those hips up. From here, I want you to think about pushing your knees apart, bring them back in and slowly lowering back down. Pushing those hips up, opening those knees apart at the top, slow, 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 squeezing back down. We're aiming for about 12 reps of that. After your 12th rep, everything should be burning and everything should be fired up. Opening up those knees, we're then just gonna pulse those knees open, open, open. And instantly, that's gonna engage everything up here, firing up the lower part of the body. All right, so next up, an excellent one to activate the core, fire up those abs. You want to think about getting those shoulders up and off so instantly you're engaging that trunk part of your body. Everything's tight. Trying to keep the spine flat on the floor, so pulling that belly button all the way down. Lifting your legs up. The band is looped around your feet. You're going to push one foot out as you pull your knee towards you and then we switch it over. So we're pushing one foot out, pulling the other knee in and rotating. Reaching those hands down, bracing that core and again, aiming for about 12 to 15 reps. So another great exercise, predominantly for the upper body, incorporating the pulling action and the pushing action as well. Depending on the uh, resistance of your band, this one is quite a tight one, so I'm just gonna stand on it with one foot. If it's a nice loose band, then I'd advise standing on two feet. So with that one foot there, just supporting the center of the band, you're gonna bicep curl the band in, keeping those elbows tight from the hair, rotating and pushing the band up and overhead, slow on the way down, bring those elbows tight and release. Again, aiming with this movement, about eight to 10 reps. We all know that ASOS is a reliable source for fashion, but it can also be a bit of a mission to sort the wheat from the chaff. So we've done the hard work for you and selected some of our favorite summer styles to show you today. And there really is a bit of everything, isn't there? There is. So, first up, Lou, I'm not gonna touch, you're gonna show. Uh, we've got, got a one. maxi dress. Um, this is 65 quid from Style Cheat. And it is so gorgeous. There's a video of Charlotte wearing this and she looked so beautiful in this. I love the neckline details. Obviously you can have these up, you can have them down as well. It's just really subtle, really pretty, really feminine. Oh, that's clever. Gorgeous. It's go I mean, it's just, oh, that's yeah, real. I'm sorry job. to say the words to me. That's a real, like, destination yeah. wedding, isn't it? Sorry, Lou. But um, that is just, oh, the ruffles and the layers. It's totally beautiful. 65 quid. Yeah. 
But I just Mega. do think if you if you see something you like, even if you haven't got an occasion to wear it right now, there will be a time that you will. So yeah. I think don't hold back if you like right. something. Just put it on for date night at home. Exactly. I'm all for dressing up at home now. Totally changed my shoes. Next, we've got a frill front dress in floral print. $79.99. Mango. I love this. This one is from their Committed um, collection and it is gorgeous. It's quite heavy actually. There's a lot of fabric on here. Um, but you know those times you just want to throw on a dress. It's nothing cool. too sort of figure hugging. Um, and again, it's got this amazing ruffle detail down the front. A um, little tie on the sleeves. Super easy. I really love it. It's so Charlotte that dress. It isn't is, it? isn't it? But I also think you could wear this in the winter. Like I also love this with a black suede boot yeah lush. like a western black suede boot yeah you know the bash ones we've got yes and some leather or i don't know yeah or even something. a big chunky cardi over the yeah. top of that um it's I, it's the sort of the color palette that i think you can apply to both some spring yeah. summer and autumn winter i think so, it's really seasonless um worth the price point I think. and it's got a slip underneath but i sometimes think you wear that on holiday over a swimsuit just yeah. get rid of the slip and it just becomes a really sheer it's gorgeous that layer. Really, it's really floaty that's so, so lovely i really want to touch it <laughs> Uh, next, we've got a brodery dress. This is yeah. This one is with your shirt quite well. this one is from um, the ASOS um, collection, Design, yeah. um, and again, amazing sleeves. Just really easy throw on. All those picnic dates that people might be having really nice. in the next couple quid. of weeks. Then I think that's going to be really useful. Really nice, and I love that with a red lip and gold jewelry in the yeah. evening. Like I think you can Pair glam up. that up. Definitely, I really do. But then equally wear it in the day. I think you're going to get a little wear out of that. Yeah, scrape your hair back and like. Not some nice bronzy makeup. I yeah. think that's really gorgeous. Really pretty. Love it. And that will last forever. That's never going to is it? It's not a trend piece at all. Um, oh, okay. So the next one is a one shoulder. This is another mango dress. Yeah, Love another this. mango. Again, it's quite a similar shape to that first one. Um, really easy throw on. You've got that elasticated um, detail around the top. So you could probably pull it down as well, actually make it both off the shoulder. Gorgeous color palette. Again, I think this is such a good shade for everyone, isn't mm -hmm. it? Mm -hmm. It's really lush. I think that's great. That's what, again, 80 quid. Yeah, and a little tie as well, so you could sort of nip yourself in at the waist if you wanted to give it a bit more shape. Yeah. Or like a brown belt on that I would look I think you gorgeous. need that tie, even if you sort of pull it over a little bit, yeah. I think it'll be a bit shapeful. And I don't know if you can see that graduated hem as well, so it's a bit shorter at the front and longer at the back. So, Good. show a bit of ankle. And that could be really smart and cash. I mean, you could 100%. wear that to a wedding, couldn't you? Yeah, definitely. All about the accessories. And that's the, the, key, the key about these dresses is, you can, you know, whether it's a great belt, good pair of shoes, earrings, you can make the outfit what you want it. Mm, love that, love that. It's really, really glam. Um, okay, oh, I love this. This is a smock trapeze dress. This is and other stories. I didn't know you could buy and other stories on yeah, ASOS. Yeah, recently. 85 quid. Really pretty. It's kind of really got that pretty. sort of baby doll shape to it. Um, in a, a lilac, didn't you see the tone, it's a little bit of a lilac check running through it. Um, super pretty. There's a lot of this style Smart. around at the moment. And again, that sort of sheared um, detail around the collar. Another trend which is everywhere right now. Lovely with an estrogel or a wrap sandal or, yeah. you know, a Gorgeous. Nice, nice brown legs. Beautiful Love sun that. hat. Love. That's really nice. Um, okay, Vera Moda. I feel like I've seen this dress like a million times before. It's very Reformation, isn't it? It is. It's linen, um, which is just an amazing fabric to wear during summer. Um, again, this is the type of piece I think you can have in your wardrobe for years and years. That could be a vintage dress, couldn't it? And it could, totally. I agree. And you mentioned it's linen. I think you can buy cheap linen. It's like denim. Yeah. It's not like... You're getting satin instead of silk because you went cheap. Like, yeah. Linen is linen. That's 45 quid. Yeah. You're so right. You can have that forever. It's exactly. So nice. It's got a bit of a stretch at the back as well, which is nice. And a tiny little cut out there. Gorgeous. Really nice with some mules. Some mm. mules. I think that's really nice. Yeah. Lovely. 45. Brilliant. Okay. Next, we've got a green print. Police said. I don't know how you say this. Anyway, uh, ASOS. 35 quid. Yeah. Amazing. Ama look at that colour. Isn't that just stunning? It's quite preen, isn't it? It is very preen. Like, that could be. It, uh, it's not massively my cup of tea, but I think. Actually, the, sle uh, the sleeves are really cool. I can see that yeah, on. They go in. Uh, amazing. I can see that on Stacey Duguid from that Paris. That is exactly what I was thinking. That's so She's strange. got re sort of ready hair yeah. or someone really dark. I, d I think it's, again, with gold accessories, but. Yeah, it's you've not... nailed it on the preen reference, I think. And again, that to me looks vintage. Yeah, I know. I don't think I'd wear it, but I, I appreciate it. And it's 35 pounds. Yeah, amazing. Okay, Ooh, we've got a... Sorry, got a hanger issue. We have got a hanger issue. We've also got a skater dress in a blue floral print. Um, this is never fully dressed. 
They're fully dressed, do some really good affordable they stuff. Do. Don't they do. Oh, Their dresses have been great. This is pretty. I would say this doesn't look as remarkable on the hanger, but on Charlotte, I think this also looked gorgeous. Yeah, agreed. really lovely shape. It's um, got an elasticated waist again, so cinch yourself in. Add a belt, I think, on top of that um, to really elevate it. And this is another one that would be great in autumn, winter as well. Yeah, I was just about to say the same thing exactly. And the little sleeves are cute. Aren't yeah, they? really pretty. Yeah, I agree. It's so versatile. You could put tights under that and wear yeah. that with boots. Yeah, gorgeous. It's really nice. And really even nice. if you jump over. The top of great it. for work yeah we're finishing on a bit of you know a bit of 70s glamour <laughs> here aren't we um one. i can see this on laura will's fashion bug blog yes. just like rocking this with her sort of chanel earrings and like super glammed up um this is a belted maxi tea dress with balloon i think the sleeves are cool the balloon sleeves, sleeves are amazing um 45 quid this is asos yeah and it's got a big cut out at the back really elegant shape and then you've got this belt, which you, we have a massive buckle, um, which you can add around the middle. We were saying earlier, a very beaver inspired, yeah, aren't very. we? I would actually not wear, I mean, it looks like 70s carpet, a pair of curtains or something. I would actually not wear the belt. The belt for me is a bit, I don't know, it's a bit too cutesy, I think, yeah. without the belt personally. And also you've got the amazing back, but I don't know, there's something about that I really love. Yeah, I, I think I love the shape here. And it's actually, the fabric is gorgeous. It's sort of like a silky satin, almost like a kimono feel to it. It doesn't feel um, cheap. It, it feel. feels expensive. No. It's, it's light, isn't it? Yeah. Gorgeous. Do you want a bit of what colour? What a good edit. Thank you, Lou. As always, the links will be in the show notes below. Now, next up, uh, I'm going to be showing you three simple salads, don't know if Lou, that are delicious, healthy and incredibly easy to throw together so don't go away it is such a useful bag stole this one from my mum's wardrobe i don't think she knows that i have it so i will never part with this hello everyone and welcome to my life in handbags so let's get cracking when i first got it the leather on this was really really pale neutral um, and now as you can see it's this really kind of oaky caramel color this feels really current and fresh now despite the fact that it's really quite old. These small little box bags look so cool with anything, like even if they have got a slightly more traditional finish like this, they just make any evening outfit look that bit cooler. This is a real favorite. This is from Mango. A, it is the chicest accessory ever. B, it is quite practical. And C, this is the ultimate conversation starter. It is so robust. I mean, seriously, I slap my life in this bag. It's just, the best bag ever. I can't explain how useful it is. It is the ultimate everyday bag. The strap is so useful. I mean, I literally wear it crossbody every single day. I've had this bag for a year now. I'm gonna try and keep a straight face. Now, a lot of us have been forced to spend a bit more time in the kitchen than we would maybe have liked over the past few months. To some, it comes more easily than others, shall we say. Imagine a lot of you, like me, have made the same thing over and over again. I always say I'm more of an arranger than I am a cook. It's rather ironic that I'm standing here. In fact, I was telling a girlfriend <laughs> I was doing this, she literally laughed out loud. Um, so I'm not really cooking. I also feel like a complete Wally, but anyway. <laughs> safety here first. Am. Here I am, safety first, quite. So I do make quite a good salad, but I'm not a cook. Nor am I really. My, my, my friends and family always say it's assembling. Exactly. Arranging. So, yeah. Assembling. I'm going to, I'm going to assemble um, three salads today. These are the ones I often make. They're my go-to. I was going to do my tuna chop salad. Tuna. I was going to do, I was going to do my tuna chop salad, but I decided it was too fiddly. So anyway, this is watermelon, mint, feta and cherry tomatoes. Mm. And I got this from a girlfriend who is an amazing cook. She's even got a cookbook. She's that good. So it's not my own, but hopefully it will inspire people. Anyway, so I've got chopped watermelon, which I'm going to stick in there. I've got chopped cherry tomatoes. I mean, I don't think I'm destined to be a TV cook. Um, they're all giggling in the background that I'm actually doing this. I've got chopped feta. Lucky I'm wearing gloves, isn't it? Otherwise, it would not be very nice. And then I've got lots of mint. I've become a bit obsessed with mint. I think at the moment, herbs are making all the difference because oh, it's what, it's what makes it interesting, I ultimately. I so agree with you, Harriet. Okay, so we're mixing all of that together. A few more tomatoes, I think. You know, they say that photographing food is like one of the hardest, hardest things. I'm not sure this is photo ready. Seems anyway, it's a business. There we go. 
<laughs> and then I've got balsamic glaze. Best thing ever. Ooh, glaze. So how is that different? Oh, because it's sweet and it's sweeter. Sweet. Oh, and, oh okay. it's so good. Bit of that. I, I put this on everything. Bit of that over the top. Bit of olive oil. Bit of salt and pepper, but I didn't have any with me. In an ideal world. So sorry. And... There you go, that looks quite good. Yeah. Anyway, I'm, I'm not gonna touch you, I'm just gonna shove it down the end. <laughs> I'll take uh, it on this there side. There you go, and you can give it a try. I will, what you think. it looks delicious. Although this was not the day to wear a white jumpsuit, but you know. No. We'll just be careful. All right, I'm gonna put that one there. And how do you, how do you find this keeps? How would you store it if it was left over? It keeps all right. Yeah. I'd say, for, I mean, watermelon doesn't keep, it goes a bit furry after a while, mm -hmm. but anyway, it's, it's good. Um, Paul, you've got to eat on camera. That's mm. quite a difficult manoeuvre. What do you think? So good, and you're so right. It's the mint that makes all the difference. Yeah. It's really fresh, isn't it? Really lovely. I love watermelon. Obsessed with watermelon. Okay, so Excuse I'm going to do salad number two, which is brazola rocket parmesan. I'd actually use a block of parmesan, and I would shave it off. I wouldn't use this stuff, but, you know, my kind assistant got that one slightly wrong. Anyway, <laughs> um... But this one is super, super, super easy. So, Brazil, I love this stuff. It is also so healthy. So low fat, low calorie, if you're at all anal. And I would just, mm, done this very neatly, lay this on the plate. This is a really nice starter. If you have people for supper and you sort of think you ought to do a starter, but you can't really be bothered, but this is super quick. I mean, I can just eat a packet of this stuff, like, literally in one go. Do you ever eat brazola? Brazola's one of my favourites, actually. I actually ah. really prefer it to parma ham and prosciutto, if I can get my hands on it. It's just, it's, a, it's expensive, but I think if you, at the moment, I don't know about anyone else, oh, but I'm, I'm spending quite a bit of money on food. food. I agree. Because it's quite an easy way, isn't it, to treat yourself and... That's what my husband keeps saying, although I do remind him we're not eating out, so you're, you know, you're sort of, it's probably, you're probably spending less in total. Anyway. True. There we go. So we've got brisola, rocket in the middle, like that. I mean, I can just eat, I can just eat a whole bowl of rocket, a whole bag of rocket. I eat rocket like I eat crisps. And then... Bit of parmesan. I'm just going to do this. As I said, this is not the right parmesan. <laughs> and then again, a bit of balsamic glaze. I'm going around the plate this time. Look make at a that. Note. Make a note, viewers. It's gone around uh, this time. <laughs> and then tiny bit of olive oil. I don't have too much of this. And I'd normally do a bit of salt and pepper. And there we go. See, I, I think you've come in here like a dark horse. It's like those people that say they can't bowl and then they just go bowling. And oh, it's I'm like... quite good at bowling. Yeah, see, I knew Except it. Except I always break my nails. Um, anyway, tell me what you think of that one. Right. Delicious. This is my absolute fave, fave, fave thing. In fact, I had it for supper last night. So we've got avocado. Tropping miavo. Hasn't quite gone brown. I was worried it was going to go brown. So the crab, this is from Waitrose. Um, I actually have used tinned crab and it was really delicious as well. So that is a good hack. Anyway, this is Cornish white crab. Anyway, I love this stuff. I just eat this for lunch sometimes. It is so good. I use just white crab. You can use 50-50, half white and half brown. We've got crab in there, cherry tomatoes, chili. How are you with chili? Really good. Really, I used to be terrible. I'm now quite good. Um, but it's so good, isn't it? Coriander. Controversial, but I'm, I'm pro. Oh, oh, controversial? Yeah, lots of people don't like coriander, do they? There was a big hoo-ha, I think, a few years ago over oh, a crap God, sandwich. Oh, it's the best. Really? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Coriander, lime. This is good. You're in for a treat. I'm looking forward to it. Lime. And... So this recipe was actually on Sheer Lux years ago. Oh. And I went to a friend's house and she gave it to me. And I went, oh, that's so good, good recipe. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, I got it from Sheer Lux. Anyway, 
It is so good. You can also make it with prawns as well, or if you haven't got masses of crab and you're making it for lots of people, put some prawns. Crab's quite expensive, so yeah. put some prawns Get in as well. And what was that that you just put in at the end? A bit of sweet chili, okay. sorry. Uh, which you don't have to put in, but I love sweet chili. Just brings it all together. And I quite often put a tiny bit of soy in as well. Mm -hmm. You can also make it with guacamole if you don't have an avo. Mm -hmm. Or, you know, just want a little bit of avo. Anyway, my husband loves it on sourdough. I often have it just on a bed of rocket. Um, but today I'm giving it to you on some raivita. Anyway, this is literally my favorite thing ever. Literally my favorite thing ever. Oh, it smells so good. Just love crab. I feel like you've saved the ultimate test till last. I have. Not to drop that. You're not allowed like. to not like this. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, it is so easy, it is so good, and it just tastes so fresh. And how do any of these go down with kids? Because you've obviously got three that you're having to feed. I've never made times any of them for any of my children, oh. and if I put it in front of them, they'd all turn their nose up. <laughs> so the answer is I save it for the grown ups. Um, that is the crab. It looks tomato. So good. I mean, all three. Coriander. I'm, right. I'm not a cook. Yeah, okay. <laughs> okay. It's assembly. It's assembly. That's what it is. But I am going to mash it down because that is no way. And it's that quite that hard to eat, isn't it? <laughs> Sorry, not going I'm down putting you on the front. spot. Well, while you try that, I'm going to take off these revolting gloves. Look at my mm. cards. So good. And what flavour are these? Because these are not standard. Pals. Something with a seed. Really know. good. Don't ask me technical questions. Um, anyway, <laughs> uh, thank you, Harriet. Um, thank you so much, everyone. As usual, all the product mentioned in today's show will be linked in the show notes below. Charlotte will be back with the new books that you should be adding to your reading list this summer, according to Sherlock's regular Daisy Buchanan, plus facialist to the stars. Dr. Debbie Thomas will be here to tell us how to deal with adult acne, and stylist Sarah Corbett Winder will also be showing us the best summer accessories. Um, again, a big thank you to my team. It's so lovely to be back. Um, thank you for watching. I hope everyone is doing well. We would love a thumbs up. We would love a comment. And we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.